How's it going? Good. Nice for you in particular, Coach, to get Chris Harris back out there. Yeah, absolutely. It was good to have him back in here for the last week, and uh, he's picking up the system great, and just a great addition to have him out there. How, uh, how helpful can it be to you to have three guys, him, Callahan, and Jackson, that all have versatility in terms of where they play? Yeah, we, we think it's a great advantage to have Bryce and Callahan and, and K-Jack. They've uh, played a the nickel spot. They've played the corner spot. You can move them around. Um, we can keep people guessing, and it gives a lot of flexibility if, if, if we ever need to give somebody a rest or somebody goes down. How much improvement have you seen from Bradley Joe from last year, the beginning of this offseason up until now? Yeah, I really can't answer where he was specifically last year, but you know, I know that guys like him with his character and his work ethic, they usually spike in year two. And uh, he's just a heck of a talent, and he works hard every day, so you should see really good play from him. He was a perfect fit for this defense. Can you explain maybe why he works so well with him, what you guys like to do? Uh, yes, you know, the, the, the edge players are very important to, to this 3-4 defense that uh, Vic and I have been running at least for the last eight years. And you need guys that can compress the edge, and then you need people that can rush the passer, and he can do both of those. And he's very forceful in doing that. So um, we're happy to have him. We think he can be very productive in that role. What stood out in your kind of initial evaluation of Sewer Cravens and kind of the role he might play in this defense? Yeah, you know, he's just like all the other DBs. You know, the biggest thing right now is to learn the system and then, then to improve your technique. And now we'll take it into camp, put the pads on, see where that goes. In terms of his day by day enthusiasm, just his approach to the game, are you impressed with just how he's kind of attacked the process? Yeah, he's been good. He's been good, and he brings good energy. So uh, I'm really pleased with the whole group. When we can't, uh, you get out tomorrow. What are your expectations? What do you tell these guys you expect when they come back for the training camp? Yeah, that, that's important. There's probably two pieces. You know, Vic has challenged these guys physically and mentally, and from the conditioning standpoint, we've challenged them and pushed them hard. And we want them to continue that in the next five weeks and come back here better. And then we also want them to take on their individual individual side. We want them to go home or wherever they're training and improve their technique. And everybody improve 2%, and that'll, that'll help our team. You've been around Vic a lot. What's it like? Is it the same or different him in this head coaching role for this offseason that you've seen out on the field? Is it, is it or you see little similarities or differences in the way he yeah, yeah, really everything is a similarity. He really has never changed very much in eight years. And sure, there's some differences with his role and responsibilities as a coach, but it's just like I thought it would be when he took over as a head coach. You know, he's really into the, the game management part of it and the details and the little things, and that's showing up in our football team. So Joe told us yesterday that the offense maybe scored a touchdown and it was the end of the period, and this was a previous practice, and Vic wanted you to run it back so that the defense could get another shot at him. And does he need to be reminded that he's also the head coach of the offense now, so when they win, it's a good thing? I think he'll have to catch himself every once in a while, but he knows. He knows that uh, you know it's uh, Vic Fangio, win loss record, and that's what we're after. And we're all doing it together. We're all Broncos. With the, coach, with the flexibility on the backside that you're, you're talking about, because those guys can play different spots, but obviously the football IQ is a yeah. part of that as well. They seem like guys that it may make it easier on you because of what they understand. Football. Yeah. Yes, they will make it easier on us. And uh, again, we have a comprehensive defense. And we're going to throw a lot at them. As much as they can handle, we're going to do. And that'll make it harder on the offenses in the league. So uh, it's good to have those people that have NFL experience. And they look like they work well with each other. And, and uh, that's a very much a plus. How much of that do you watch this year? How they work together? It's everything. You know, connection, coach to player, player to player. Uh, very important. And that's, that'll have a, a, that's a big indicator on how, how things will come out. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, guys.